how was your set yesterday? It was amazing. So there was a little bit of a weather issue, and then all of a sudden, sets were getting pushed back. No, I got to open for Enrico and Charlotte, and uh, was kind of thinking, like, all right, you're opening for the most influential power couple in all of techno. How are you going to do it? I just figured they're pros, so we let it rip. Had a great time. How would you describe your after party set? I'm gonna force feed everyone with as much energy and as many bangers as possible. Taking a fire hose and just covering everyone in black techno bangers. How do you describe the scene between here versus like Atlanta? Well, it's kind of crazy because Atlanta's like a very bass heavy dubstep. But down here, like you wouldn't think that in Texas there'd be a crazy techno scene. The one thing that I've been noticing is that like even the bass heads, they're really getting into techno more and more and more because they want to feel that like dark, raw, pounding energy. So what is it that you want your audience members to walk away from your set with? I thought that techno was going to be this way but his vibe was that way. Because techno's supposed to be super dark and moody, but I'm a really happy person, so I put out that kind of energy. I'm having a great time. I'm having the best time of my life while I'm up there. But I want you to listen to techno and be like, all right, I don't normally listen to techno, but I f with that. And then get them into the scene. They'll find all the dark, weird, and crazy sh in there. How do you come up with the songs that you work on? I'm imagining looking into the crowd, standing on stage. And as I'm standing there, I'm like, okay, if I'm standing in front of hundreds, a thousand, one person, could be my mom listening to the track, to be standing on stage while this sound is coming out of the speakers, it needs to keep going. So I basically close my eyes, picture myself. It's like, uh, you know how they say, if you're giving a speech, like imagine everybody in their underwear. Well, imagine yourself like half naked on stage playing this music out. You feel confident? Then that's the track. Um, so you mentioned your mom. Do your parents listen to your music? Actually, it's really cute. So she sings, uh, women's barbershop quartet amazing super talented super talented lady not my cup of tea but i'll go to her stuff when they do like shows and whatnot support her and she says the exact same thing to me your music not my cup of tea but she's super supportive so it kind of goes both ways what is an upcoming track that you're excited about i need to not just put out any music it's got to be the right music nice. i got to put out the right songs nice. so i got three eps ready to go they're all going to be coming out on uh, umex label who's uh, my mentor my number one guy 1605 yeah. and uh i can't wait it's gonna be really good 2023 is gonna be a great year for me what has been one of your favorite cities to play at this year i did just get back from montreal this past weekend Ooh, nice and i uh, got to go to stereo after to the gig and the cool thing about montreal maybe it's just because i'm a sucker for french you know lots of beautiful women speaking french i was like ooh. but anyway uh i felt like everyone there was a techno aficionado yeah and like i would talk the talk and then they'd yeah. clap right back and we were having good like and they really were there for the intricacies of every individual eep bop so what are your thoughts on seismic so actually this is my third seismic the oh. first the first one i went to as an attendee in 2019 nice. then all of a sudden i had tickets to go as an attendee in May of last year, a year and a half ago. But then this was during COVID, so all of the artists that were, all the European artists had all these COVID restrictions yeah. and then there were cancellations after cancellations. Yeah. And they were in the ears of um, the Andrew and Kelly who throw the festival. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, you know, you got slots to fill. You got to put on Sam Wolf, you got to put on, you got to put them on, you got to put them yeah. on. They gave me a shot and it was off to the races. I uh, got to let it rip. I got to play an after party. It was incredible. Then I came back, played the concourse. It was amazing. So Seismic definitely holds a very special place in my heart because, you know, this is almost like the Techno Super Bowl in America. It's wild. What's coming up next for you? What are you excited for? 2023, I can't wait to start putting out a lot of music again. Uh, Umek is coming to the States and I got some gigs coming up with him. That's going to be great. I mean, there's just so much going on. I'm even playing with Dead Mouse coming up. I mean, that's going to be a cool little one where yeah. can't wait to meet him. Let everybody know, like, all right, I put out some good tracks, but now I really want to make my stamp. He's doing something. It's right. different. It's banging, and I like it. Have you gotten any uh, feedback from any fans from yesterday? You know what's banging when you get tagged in a ton of stories. So basically, my routine is play the gig, have a great time, and then I'll wake up and I'll spend an hour plus a lot of time just going through stories. Yeah. Do you save any of the videos? I or? save them all. I answer every Every DM, send me a DM, yeah, have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So it takes me a little while to get back, but like I love getting to interact that way. But social media is such an amazing tool to develop a legitimate connection yeah. with people that you never would have met before. Yeah. The point where I got to go to Turkey and Lebanon cool. and play there, and I never would have imagined. It was all through Instagram, all through social media, and you develop these amazing friendships that are gonna last a lifetime. Yeah. It really is a cool thing to be able to connect with people that you never would have met without it, so. So what does your self-care routine look like? What it looks like in my mind is show up, 
find a local yoga studio, do yoga, then find a really healthy juice bar, then prep. I try to get in and the biggest thing is getting enough sleep. Yep. So the really tough thing is when you play a party at, until 3, 4, 5 a.m. and then you have like an 8, 9 flight out the next yeah. day so you don't sleep. Got to get a hotel with the blackout curtains so you can take a nice disco nap. Without that hotel with the really nice blackout curtains, you're kind of screwed. And actually, I'm doing a sober thing right now. I've been five months sober. Nice. And I never really imagined myself as like a sober person. But uh, otherwise, it would just wear on you so much. So that's it's been really nice. What is one of the biggest pieces of advice that you would give to somebody who was in your shoes like two years ago? Yeah, I love questions like that. Number one thing is, and this sounds cheesy, it all starts up here. It all starts up here. It's so amazing that like, 26 cities, getting to play at festivals, getting to interact with the biggest artists in this genre. It's so amazing that it's happening. However, I always knew that it was gonna happen years before, as I was busting my ass, grinding it out in the studio, making tracks, making the connections. Because once you make the commitment and you decide that this is gonna happen, that I'm going to be playing on these big stages, that this is going to be my future. And when they provide these opportunities for you, 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 you never would have been able to say, holy I met this, this, and this guy, and they led to this, this, and this connection. And, but once you decide, it all starts to happen. It has so much self-doubt. Every producer thinks this track is shit. Every producer gets tired of their own stuff. Everybody is going through it. So when it happens to you, because it's gonna happen, it happens to me, it happens to everybody. Self-doubt, realize that this is happening to everybody, the biggest guys, it doesn't matter who it is, and then get out of the rut, and then you're good to go. Is there anything else you would like to share with us today? I'm a normal guy, and stuff is starting to happen for me in a great way. If I can do it, anybody else can, and that would be kind of like the message that I want to deliver. That, and if you've ever listened to my music and you like it, thank you very much. I'm really glad that the computer noises that are going on in my head are translating. So I'm glad that uh, that communication is really starting to resonate and hit with a lot of people. So thank you, everybody. And um, yeah, send me a message on Instagram, listen to my tunes, and I love connecting and talking.